Good evening, class. I'm going to be going through my N517 internship proposal for you all. So to begin, this is for an internship with the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra. And my main question is how can we generate a larger and younger audience with the use of music technology? The purpose of this internship is to establish connections between music technology and classical performance to attract a young audience and build interest in the classical arts and multimedia technology, and to create an interactive and technology-driven concert program aimed at educating and inspiring. The literature review for this internship focuses on the trends in the change in audience needs and the falling in subscription sales. So as the audience um, gets older, new members start coming, so we need to reach those younger audience members and get them interested. Um, the literature review also talks about audience demographic and the need for younger audiences. Um, the barriers of attendance, so changing the format to reduce some of these barriers. Um, the New World Symphony provides a fantastic example of the positive use of technology integration within a concert program. Um, for technology and marketing, the use of social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram can be used to reach these younger audiences. And some new areas to address is finding composers willing to utilize technology within their concert programs. For the conceptual design of this internship, it is heavily based off B.F. Skinner's operant conditioning. So reinforcing concert attendance, um, you want to study the attendees' likeliness of returning to concert programs, um, as well as lowering the barriers of attendance to influence positive behavior. And this is also going to be a longitudinal study, so it's going to be tracking the audience behavior over a long period of time. So for the content of this project, um, I would hope to plan a symphony concert that integrates various styles of music technology, something like visual aids, um, maybe a social media based interaction like a live feed of Twitter um, have using hashtags to um, inspire some of the content of the night and also processed live audio. So utilizing social media and grassroots marketing techniques can um, help advertise concert programs to a younger demographic and get them in the door to some of these concert programs. For the sequence and layout of this internship um, first step is obviously meeting with the planning director of the ISO, um, making sure we're on the same page for the plan. Step two is to choose compositions and the media style for the concert. Step three is marketing to um, high school students and college students to get the young audience excited about the concert program. Step four is to host the concert itself, get feedback with audience surveys. And step five is to look at those surveys and evaluate the effectiveness of the concert. Some tools and resources I'll be using for this internship. Um, the main people I'll be in contact with are the marketing and communication director of the ISO, the planning director of the ISO, and the faculty advisor at IUPUI, which will be Scott Deal. For the evaluation part of this internship, um, there will be a self-evaluation that I will do an instructor evaluation by Scott Deal, the advisor, um, a site supervisor evaluation, and the audience surveys I mentioned earlier. So the timeline I have thus far is um, start by submitting the proposal for approval with the site supervisor um, and discuss the project proposal and timeline. Weeks two through five will be selecting the concert program creating visual and technology-driven media for use in performance. Um, if possible, it'd be cool to commission a new piece using technology, um, but that's just kind of an idea. And then meet with, meeting with the conductor to discuss the concert program. Week six through 12, we'll be beginning promotion and marketing for concert um, and planning the rehearsal schedule for the concert program. Weeks 13 through 15 will be the concert itself, collecting audience feedback, and evaluating all of the concert surveys. So finally, um, week 16 will be the final project report and getting the student and supervisor evaluations completed. 
So here are some of my resources. And that is all. Thank you.